Now at 10 News Morning Original. New reporting first at 6. New study shows that millennials are in more debt than any other generation, but they're also better at saving than their parents. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron's in the live center right now to explain how a new way of looking at money is helping millennials make it in San Diego. Jared Virginia Jim, it's kind of weird to think about those two things together, but financial experts say this is the first generation that's had the tools and also the information available to start saving while still paying off all their debt, and it may be the key to long-term financial stability. Go on, Doc. As an aspiring nurse, Aaron Bruski knows all about debt. The debt problem for people my age is just absolutely incredible. Spurred mainly by student loans, millennials are now a trillion dollars in debt, more than any generation ever. But even as Bruski tries to pay off his loans, He's still managing to save. His tax refunds go into an emergency fund and he takes money out of every paycheck for a 401k. Money's got to go somewhere and some, I've got to take care of myself when I'm 60. That's become common for millennials who are starting to focus more on long-term savings over paying down debt. Data from the Federal Reserve of St. Louis shows millennials aged 20 to 34 already have an average of $15,500 in retirement savings. Generation X had about two grand less at the same age. Younger people have different financial needs, and uh, I wanted to start a company focused on that. Scott Melbrod runs Accumulation Wealth Partners. He focuses on millennials, who he says can use their age as an asset. They have a life of work ahead of them, and that allows them to... Um, you know, pay off debts and stuff. And it's never been easier to save at the same time. Programs like Roth IRAs, 401k company matches, and even 529 college savings accounts all became widespread in the mid-90s. Millennials are taking advantage of those easy, automatic ways to begin long-term savings. It's just the culture they grew up in, you know, with the internet and having inf access to information, um, they really are looking at different stuff earlier. Starting sooner also makes every dollar go further as interest compounds over decades. So millennials like Brewski don't have to rely on this. Winning the lottery? <laughs> as a long-term plan. Now, Melbrod says the best advice he can give is to automate all of your investments. Just have it automatically taken out of your paycheck and then ignore it. He says the more you look at your long-term investments, the worse they tend to do. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank you, Jared. Mm -hmm. We expect them to pay more for school, more for housing. Yeah, I mean, everything. We apologize, millennials. Yes, sorry. Yeah. We're millennials. <laughs> <laughs> it's been rough. Yeah. <laughs> I can have some money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take you outside.